Hi everyone, it's Gail, and it is week one of 2024's Marguerite Miller Challenge. We have a lot going on. Also, I'm going to do the hashtag little bits of lace 2024 um, that Corey Dahman is, is doing. And um, so I'll link Marguerite's and I'll also link Corey's um, YouTube channels. Also, I have another little project if we have time. So uh, we're going to get going here. Um, the first thing I wanted to do is thank everyone who pressed the super thanks button in 2023 so much. I think I might have missed acknowledging some people because when I'm traveling, I put it in my notes and then sometimes I forget to get it out. So we're going to have a little list here of super thanks recently. So Debbie, uh, L626, Karen S, Terry Nielsen, Lenny Daniels, Karen Petras, Lori Sullivan, Shai's Art, T. Jack, Elizabeth Glover, Lisa Nelson, and Lulu. Thank you so much for, for your support through that super thanks. That's so sweet of you. Okay, off we go. Marguerite Miller. So I decided I'm going to use this little book that I made a while back. It's got the um, little tab uh, tab spine, I guess you would call it, and it's just it's just um, it's just craft paper. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to put this at the top. I think I want to cut that down a smidge on the top, and. Yeah, we're, I'm just going to make kind of like the title page so that I know this is, it's her number four, volume four. And so if you go onto her Etsy, Mellow Miller, you will find it there. And then um, this just says how to, how to work on the assignments. I might have to do that a little bit too. Um, not like the, the front page of these are going to be a little tricky because they've got the tabs on it, but the rest of it should be fine. So yeah. Okay. I have a jelly print here that I'm just going to tear and put on here to just give it a little more something. Perfect. Okay. Well, not quite perfect. Not quite perfect. Now it's perfect. <laughs> oh gosh, I've got, I, oh my gosh, I have so much upstairs. This is, oh, even my glue sticks up there. Just a second. Oh, I forgot to bring all that stuff down. Whoopsie. I was so excited to do this video. So I'm filming this on New Year's Day. And, um, then, yeah, so this is the first video that I've done since being kind of on Christmas vacation, if you will. So, um, no, I did one when I got home, and but then I took the weekend off again. So, yeah, so it's Monday, New Year's Day, and I was anxious to get into my craft room. <laughs> Mike said, oh, you know, there's college football on today. And I'm like, well, yeah, but I'm going to just go ahead and do a bit, at least one, if not more. I have, I'm itching. I'm itching to be in here. So um, let's talk about Corey's challenge a little bit. It's um, the hashtag little bits of lace 2024. And so... Um, if you want to participate too, you sure can use that hashtag and it'll be in the title of this video. And um, it just works in perfectly with my word of 2024, which is unhoard. And so I'll be unhoarding my lace a little bit. Let's, I want a... Uh, marker of some sort that's kind of big what do we have here this will work this will work excuse my reach there doesn't this show 
doesn't really. That's okay. We'll just, I just want the year. There we go. Okay. So that's done. I hope this is going to work out okay. It's kind of, it's kind of wrinkly, but you know, it's just for me. So it's okay. Okay. So this is going to be our first page. Uh, oh, I wanted to show you that I got them all printed out. And so I'll just cut them as I go kind of thing. So I will set those aside and I have my first one is, is holding my place in this book, but I think I'll grab something else to do that. Okay, so we have something associated with water. So I found this picture of a faucet. Uh, oh, a poem. I didn't do a poem. Shoot. Well, I'm just going to use a symbol or shape because I don't, I don't have a poem. Darn. All right. Well, anyways, uh, pattern paper. That's this. Something that's kept cold. I have a bowl of cereal, a light shade of blue. I have this too. So, and then I have an unusual symbol or shape. So that's, that's what we're going with on this one, guys. That's, that's what's happening. So I think, yeah, this is just the right size. That's going to be handy. That, um, yeah, I'm just going to do that. Oh, I just feel like there's just so much to do. I, you know, when you're not in your craft room for a while, it's like, <laughs> I have so much to do. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. I, my glue book is up there too. I mean, about unprepared goodness gracious Gail now there are some poems in my sticker book um, I wonder if I could find something in the bibliography one well we might not get the one project done but that's okay I'll do it on another video I for sure want to um, I for sure want to do Marguerite Miller and then a bit of lace, that one. And then Roxy Creations, too. I'm going to do that again this year as well. So I'm going to try and do all three on, on Wednesdays. What I'm kind of thinking is maybe I won't make so many <laughs> Roxy Creations if I have another thing to do with the, the lace. So that's, that's my plan is to... Because my to-do box just got so full because I just couldn't quit making the various things from the Roxy Creations. So, so I have a little, I have a little um, journal that I did put the Roxy Creations ideas in. I'm gonna make a journal for the um, uh, for the lace challenge too. I just haven't grabbed that either because I'm not at all in the swing of things. Can you tell? Okay, I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna kind of roughly cut around this. I don't want the whole square. Let me just go down like that. Okay. So I have to keep in mind, I need a place to tuck my, tuck these too. Okay, I gotta use the cutter on this because my tear ruler. Oh, I know what I was gonna do. I was gonna use my deckle edge because I don't use it enough. In fact, it's about as dusty as a as a thing could be. So, so yeah, I'm gonna try and use this for the edges of my 2024. Marguerite Miller. That's that'll be just kind of something fun and different, right? Okay. It's a bit smaller. That's good too. All right. So I have actually this might just fit on the page or something. We'll see. So here's the thing I have for this symbol 
is um, is this. I don't know. I thought it kind of kind of went in some weird kind of a way, and I feel like those are symbols. I don't know. I might be stretching it a little bit, guys. I don't know. Let me look in my other sticker book. I think this Bibliophilia one might have a poem in it. Probably won't be my favorite poem, but I felt like I saw... That's not a poem, that's a proverb. Yeah. Sorry I'm so disorganized, you guys. Oh, Moby Dick. I know not all that may be coming, but be it what it will, I'll go to it laughing. I mean, that's kind of nice. I could use that. So let's just see if there's something that's... Little women, I'm not afraid of storms for I'm learning to sail my ship. Ooh, that's a really good one for like... Don't you think that's a good one for the beginning of the year? Yeah, I do. Okay, so... I put that just right there. I'm having to learn to go onto one page because I was doing the two page thing. Okay, so now I feel like my other one's too big. Okay, so I need a, a different symbol. I mean, these. this looks like a symbol to me, but... I need something little, a little symbol. What about one of these? This one. Okay, cool. What did I do with my thing that I was marking with? There it is. Okay. All right, so we can stick that on somewhere. Okay. This is going to go on top. Okay, I think we've got it, guys. I think we've got it. <laughs> oh, dear. This is just... Um, yeah, I'm excited to do the lace thing, too, because my thought is to just try and share a lot of different ideas for using lace. Which I think is kind of what Corey was getting at. And so, um, yeah, that'll... And I'm excited to see what she does because it's always wonderful. And if you happen to watch this, Corey, hello, my friend. I miss your face. <laughs> oh, yeah been a bit. It's been a bit since I've seen her. There we go. Okay. So there's that. I think I better glue this too because it's, these are stickers, but sometimes they're not as sticky as you'd like. So, yep. Another year of playing with the collage challenge. Um, you know, I think I've addressed this before, but people have asked, so what's the purpose of this? Well, the purpose is to play and have fun. The perfect, the purpose is to make art. And the purpose is um, to practice. Practice your collage a little bit and have something to look back on and go, you know, I think I've gotten better at this. Or, I really stink at this. Whichever. <laughs> I think. Oh, maybe I want that over there. I think I do. Okay. I'm going to put that there. Okay. And then we have our little symbol-y thing. And it's just this. So that works. Okay, I gotta get. So 
So I was thinking of putting that there. I think I might put it there though. Okay. Bye, George. I think we've got it. So something associated with water, a poem or song you enjoy. It's more like a quote. Pattern paper, something cold, light shade of blue. Actually, I've got that several places and a symbol. So there we go. The first one is one and done. How's that? Gosh, we're off and running 2024. Oh, I have to tell you this too. So I was so excited because one of my one of my thoughts for the new year, as I think it is for many people, is to exercise more. And um, I know I'm a fair weather walker. I cannot get over that. It's just how I roll. And so I, um, I did 10 minutes of yoga when I got up this morning. Did a little YouTube video of 10 minutes of yoga and it was great. My hips are a little sore, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, I'm, I'm off on the road of that and I hope to maintain it. We'll see as the year goes on. We will see. Okay, guys. So you've seen me do this project before, but I thought it was a good one to start this with. This is a little, um, we're going to make a journal card and I am going to put my lace this one is just the right width for this card so yeah so I'm gonna put that there and then um, I want some sort of little crinkly paper or something I'm gonna need this um, I'm not quite sure do I have anything in here no, not really. That's too stiff. Okay. That's my little what's it stuff. I could use a piece of like music. And I think I will. And I'm going to just tear this. He <laughs> says, my ruler's upstairs. Gosh, that's like cutting off one of my arms not to have my tear ruler. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to cut this about right here, and then I'm going to kind of crunch it up a bit, and we're going to give it some, give it some distress here. And, and in the, in the folds too. Okay, so that's going to be crunched up. That's going to kind of go at the top. And um, this one is the right size to use one of these rusty, um, Pins. I think these are from MK Maz. I think that's her writing. I'm not positive. Most of my rusty bits come from the Rusty Gardener on Etsy, but I think these came from MK Maz. So I just want to smoosh that a bit. And we're just going to dig our pin in and smoosh it again. And try to go through. I'm working at not poking myself here, guys. That's the that's the goal, but when it's rusty, it doesn't like to poke through much. But we'll get it. Okay. All right. So We've got ourselves a little journal card where we can go like this. You can write on that if you want to, and you can write on the whole back. 
So that's my, that's my project for hashtag little bits of lace 2024. Now I've got these. These are from vintage studio or no, uh, triple V vintage. And I've got enough of them that I can do my B journals, which, you know, I'm kind of in process with. Okay, so I picked some lace. I've got black, which I think looks awesome. I've got brown, which I really, really like too. And then I've got this color. So, creamish, creamish eyelet lace. So with these, what I thought I would do is go ahead, let's get all the lace cut, kind of a bit of a mass make here. Just make sure I've got the right side up. It's helpful. We'll just do two of each, how about two of each lace? They're gonna be in different books, so doesn't matter if they're similar to another one, right? Okay. And the brown, oh, I just love this brown lace. Okay, so just cut that at the length of the index card. And I'm just going to go like this because they're the same. We know that. Just be easier. Okay, it doesn't have to be, you know, like perfectly straight or anything like that. Not going to sweat the small stuff here. Okay. Yeah. That's, okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut the black as well. And yeah, I'm just going to do a slight variation from the pin because we we'll use something that I think most people have. And then also, so that's a little bit short, but it doesn't matter. And a little bit more of the card shows through. That's okay. Okay. So then these are going to be like this. Okay. So now we're going to scrunch up our bits. So we need six bits for this, don't we? Um, 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 what all could I use? I, I really feel like maybe I'll just go into our book page and that sort of thing. Like this is a good one. It's very brittle. But that's okay too. I think it's gonna fold okay. Just need a few little random folds in it. Let's... I think this one, since it's kind of light colored, would be nice on one either the black or the. I think maybe the black. Okay, now I want to do kind of the cracks. And I thought instead of the pin, maybe what we could do is take this. No, it's not going to smoosh very easily. It's breaking. So I'm just going to kind of, actually, I'm going to tear that down a little bit. Ah, sorry. Oh, you guys, yesterday, last night, I just made such a mess. I knocked off my water. I knocked off the, all the remotes and everything. Sometimes I just worry about my coordination. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to put that there. And then I'm just going to use a rusty little clip there instead of the pin. I think it's equally as cute. You could add something else on to there if you wanted to. Like I could put a little B on there, which I may when we go to use them. 
Okay, what else do we have? You know what would be fun is some of this wormy paper. And I've used some lace. Yeah, I told I told Corey I have a lot of I have a lot of lace too. I mean, when I come across it at a at a vintage like a uh, um, estate sale or something, I can't leave it behind, you know. And so I need to use it. Okay, let's put this kind of all crunched up a little bit like that on this one yeah see I feel like that could use a little something I don't know maybe it's another piece of lace hanging right there or something I have, a little, I have all sorts of little bits of lace as well that one could use I'm gonna sneeze Oh, I'm so sorry. Every time. Every time. Yeah, I think I'm going to put a small piece of this on there. Yeah. Just stick that under there, too. Yeah, that's a cute one. Okay. What else do we have in our little, in our little scrap bin here? I've got some. This is some just one piece nope I didn't think so this is German book I think so let's see what we can do with this I don't know if it's I mean you wouldn't have to wrinkle things but I kind of like the look now is that too long I don't think so okay yeah I was pretty excited last night when I watched Corey's video on this I it's like I just kind of wanted something new and fresh for 2024 Oh, I love that. That one turned out really cute. Let's do one of these cream colored ones. Um, so I might want something that's a little more, let's, all my, all my colored scraps are upstairs too. Let's see, what do I have here? I want something B-ish, you know, B colors. Oh, here. Here's something. That might work. I'm going to tear down this side. And it might be too long. different. See how we go with this one. Oh, I love that. Yay. Okay. Two more. We have two more. How are we doing time-wise? We're good. Okay. I might have time to show you the last thing I wanted to show you. Um, oh, this is a neat piece. Look at this piece. Oh, I think I am going to just tear off that little bit there. I'm not going to scrunch this one up too much. I'm just going to scrunch it 
stress it. Like that. Love it. Love it. Okay. I don't want to use the colorful and I'm just not kind of feeling that. Um, hmm. What if we did that? Ooh, I like that because I have another type of clip I want to use. So, as usual, many, many possibilities here. But the main thing for this one is we're using some lace and okay, and we're making some ephemera pieces, which is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. I'm going to hang that down, which is a little different. And then I've got these rusty clips from the rusty gardener like that. Fun. So look how quickly we did all of those. Isn't that fun? Okay. I know. I said fun, fi fun 500 times. Please don't yell at me about it. <laughs> it just is, people. It just is. Okay. That's all put away somewhat. Okay, so I wanted to show you this, and this came from Sunset Crafts. I'll link her, her video below, but I loved this little project. It's a, um, it's a, oh no, not Sunset Crafts, Septeria 18. I'm sorry. Here, let me put this right up here if you want to take a screenshot. Boom. There you go. Um... It's a little coin envelope, and I think this was genius. She made a like a slit so that you can easily get the card in and out or whatever. This one I've left un, um, unglued because I want to be able to um, use it as my example. And then she just made a little tag with the leftover. I mean, you could put that put that there. That'd be super cute. I think that's actually what I'm going to do. Let's do it. Uh, so anyway, well, I'm going to make this and show you guys how to make it too. I, this was a video that I watched over the, over my little Christmas break that I took and it, I was like, Ooh, I want to make those and I want to make a bunch of them. So let's make Let's do this. Let's do this paper. This is uh, seven gypsies. You use a six by six piece of paper. Let me move all my rusty bits here. Yeah, you use a six by six piece of paper. It looks like I got two here, which is great because I need two for my bug journal. Oh man, you guys, let's see where. Oh. What did I do? Oh, here it is. I got it out for myself. Now I can find it. Okay, so this is the right side up. Now, um, you kind of have to look at that because you're going to have the flap, right? So, but this will be my flap, so it'll be okay. So anyway, we are going to score it right side up and if you use like floral or something that has no direction you're good either way so put that on we're gonna score at one quarter we're also going to score at three and an eighth which is the three and then one mark over three and an eighth then we're gonna turn it one quarter counterclockwise like so we're going to score at one and a quarter and five and a half. So those are the measurements that I showed you right at the beginning. Okay. Now we need to do some trimming up. 
So, um, now let me think. Okay, so we are going to take off. I have to look at my example. Okay, okay. So we're going to, uh, when we turn it over, we're going to take off the left quarter inch score, like so. And I'm going to do that at a slight angle like that. We're going to keep this piece. We're going to angle this also, both, both sides, okay? Then we're going to go opposite of this and take off this little, and I'm going right on the score lines for this one. If I could see them, it'd be so helpful. Where is the score line? Oh, there it is. I've got a, a line on my paper. It was hard to see. Maybe I can see it. Yeah, I can see it better on this side. Okay, we're just going to clip that off. And that's going to become our tag, right? Okay, so then um, we're good there. I'm going to go ahead and chomp my corners just because I would like those rounded. Okay, and that's going to be our flap down. We're going to... Fold it over that away. Fold this little bit and fold this. And I will go ahead and, and glue that so you can see um, where to glue. Let me just get out the glue book. So I'm going to use my, um, my art glitter glue. I am going to take my score or my bone folder and just give that a little bit of a press just so it's there we go okay so I'm gonna put glue along this oh I forgot to cut this little corner I want that cut too we'll make a couple of these so that my imprecise directions <laughs> hopefully come to light for you. I'm also going to just put a little just right on the edge of here up to the flap. So that's going to press down like so. And then we're going to glue our bottom. Fold it up and glue that down. And there's our little amp. Oh, I didn't do something that I was supposed to do first. Shoot. I was supposed to cut. But I can still do it, I think. So I'm just going to cut this one. We'll do the next one properly. I'm sorry. I forgot that. Which is one of the things I really loved about this was the closure. But we made it work. Okay. I'll make the little tag real quick just to show you how I did it. Okay, so I just did the little V like that. Then I took this and cut it down just a bit. Actually, I'd re I really like this part. So I think I'm going to that right about there and I'm just going to put some glue here center this and press it down now if you want to ink before you do these things then then you should ink before you glue but there we go so if we wanted we could put that on there we could just put it on the page somewhere where we put this you know, whatever, whatever you want to do. Isn't that a cute envelope though? Little coin envelope. Okay, let's do another one. So we, maybe I can, 
I hope I have time. I do. I have time. What am I worried about? All right. So, um, I have some thicker paper here. I was thinking I'd do some purple ones, but I wonder if I have that thicker yet. What is this? This might, this might work. This would be fun. Let's try this. Okay. So I might need my example again. So I'll set it right up there. All right. So I think I have the scoring down pretty well. So you put it the way, you know, the way you want to see it. And then one quarter on this edge. And three and one eighth here, quarter turn counterclockwise, and one and one quarter, and five and one half. Good, good. Okay, so now I hope you can see the lines pretty well there. So now we're going to cut this left side score mark up to there and I'm gonna do a little angle and we're gonna keep that little piece I actually I feel like that I went a little crooked and I don't think it's gonna want to close so I'll just give it another little then I'm gonna clip this corner up and this way and I do, I'm gonna throw that away that little corner now the opposite side we want to the opposite side or the side with the quarter score, we are going to take that off. Okay. I'm gonna keep that, I almost threw it away. And we're going to chomp it, which you don't have to. You could just cut it at an angle too, we could do that. Now, at this point, is when we're going to do our, our slant. Sorry about that, guys. So, I'm going to put this down. The slant, you don't want it below the edge of your flap because then, um, then it will show. But, you can draw a line if you want to. You can use your, um, your cutter, whatever you want to do. But, I feel like I can do it without... So then we're good and we're ready to, we're ready to um, glue. Unless you want to distress. If you want to distress, let's do that on this one. We'll go ahead and distress it prior to gluing. And on this one, I think because it's not two-sided, even if it is, you might want to, but I'm gonna just fold this back and give it something there and around like so. Okay, and we'll glue. Super easy, right? Yeah, I I really like this this little project. This just I wanna try that thicker paper too, so I think we'll make one with the thicker purple paper. I have the, I thought, the purple, because I think I have two or three. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you. So, oops, we don't want glue right there. Um, so, this weekend, I kind of reorganized, got, got it situated, because I'd done a lot of fussy cutting for my kits that I was getting ready. You guys, so we have... You know, I'm doing the five B journals. Well, I have a sixth one. That's that's for starters. And then um and then <laughs> I counted in my little bag that I have ready for retreats. 18 kids. 18. Oh my goodness. I am a crazy woman. Yeah, 18. So I my work cut out. <laughs> but you know, I had 
I oh that's gonna be cute isn't it I'm gonna put that down a little bit right right there I'm gonna cut right here um yeah so <laughs> I had the the digitals I had the covers I'm like you know just put them together in a kit it's not like I have to do them tomorrow or anything I just um I'm going to put this down from the top slightly. I think that would look cute. Yeah, so there's our little thing. That would be cute like that. Let's let's glue that on there. So right to about there. Yeah, so anyway, I was like, holy moly, going to be busy. I mean, some of those I'm going to do at retreat, so it's not like... That's all videos, but you know, the bees, the five bees one, probably the sixth one too, because why not? Oh, that is cute. Let's really, I like how that one turned out. That's really cute. Okay. So let's try a thicker one. Let me put my pin in my glue. Okay, so this is like, what paper is this? It might be, it's either Minte or it's um, 49 a market. I'm not sure. I've got leftovers there. Okay, so we're going to do a quarter, oop, really, we're going to do a quarter inch. And then we're going to do three and an eighth quarter turn counterclockwise and one and a quarter and five and a half all right and then we're gonna cut the left one right to there keep this and then we're gonna cut this side like so okay and then we're going to cut here we don't need to cut here because this is going to be the part that we cut for the the slant right so let's just oh let's round the corners and see how this Folds. It's thicker for sure. It's thicker. I'm really going to have to press with my bone folder, I think. Okay, but first we're going to, we're going to cut this at an angle. Like about halfway up. Like so. Ooh, that's a cute one. I like the inside. Yeah. Okay, let's get aggressive with the bone folder. Yeah, this is going to work just fine, even though it's it's quite a bit thicker. It's going to be okay, I think. So, we did Marguerite Miller. We did our little bits of lace. And... We did this that I wanted to share with you that I saw on Septeria 18, her channel. Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to um, do it, but you know, because you've got that fold, you can, you can get in there and, and um, distress it okay. It's okay. I don't know that the back will need it. You could put this on a page as as like a little tuck glue here and here and stick something down there or it can go in a pocket which is what I was kind of thinking of mine for but but yeah so there's that. Let's do quick like do the tag. Okay, 
And this, do we, I think I'm going to put that on like that. So we'll just cut this straight. And let's, oopsie, don't knock over the glue, Gail. See, I really, I don't know if it's spatial awareness or I'm just uncoordinated. I'm not sure. <laughs> I was so lucky, though, because my table last night, it's super close to my um, glass china cabinet that my dad made for me. And if my water bottle would have went through that, I'm not kidding, I would have been so upset. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, so there's that one. So fairly quick to make, right? I, I'm impressed at how quickly they go. Okay, well, we've got about 10 minutes. So let's make, let's make a blue one. I have this blue paper that I thought would be kind of fun too. So quarter inch, three and an eighth, half turn, one and a quarter, and five and a half. Okay, so let me cut this. I think I have this down now. I'm gonna cut that. About when I'm feeling like I do, I'll probably mess up, right? <laughs> Don't get too self-assured, Gail. Okay, let's cut this then. And right down the, right down the crease. Okay, yep. All right, so I, this is, I mean, I like rounding the corners when it's still flat. It's kind of easier to do that way. Okay, then we're going to go about halfway down the distance of the flap and cut. Okay, this one I want to definitely do the inking on because it's light colored okay and then i think this one would be cute decorated right cuz you can you can put something on that front I need to a little there too. Oh, isn't that cute? Yeah, and then you could put a little something right there. That's a fun one. Okay. Now the score line is up here, but I just leave that and then um our little topper piece can um cover that up. Oh, well, that wasn't very straight. Now, do I want the blue or do I want the white? I want the white. Okay. 
it'd be I think it'd be really cute on this little piece to put a word or something too. There we go. Yeah, and then yeah, it'd be cute to put a word there. That is That'd be something we could do, too. So, let's see. What other paper was I going to try? Oh, I was going to try some of this paper. I was thinking it, it's really thick, though. It's 49 and market, and it's a thick paper. This one's called Vintage Artistry Every Day. And... What I was thinking is this might work in the bee journal. That's what I was thinking. That's what my little brain was telling me. Okay. So, we want this this way. Okay, a quarter. Three and one-eighth. Clockwise turn. One and a quarter. Oh dear, went off. It's so thick that I went off course there. One and a quarter and five and a half. Okay. Then we well, boy, it's hard to see. I think it's easier to see on this side. Piece, and then I'm going to do this angle like that. Okay. And then we're going to cut this. Just used to doing it this way so it's easier, easier for my brain. Oh boy, yeah, that is thick paper, all right. Okay, and then our angle about there. Okay. Oof, that is tough. But it's still working. It's it's real thick, but it's still working. Okay, we'll finish this one and then we'll be and we'll be done for the day. get it all? I think so. Cool. All right. I don't know how much time we had, but we will have made five of these. It's kind of, I feel like that's impressive. <laughs> so they are a fairly quick little project. Cute. 
Love that. Isn't that cute? Okay, let's do this. do we want on this? Do we want that? Do we want that? Hmm, I think I prefer a little bit of color. That has some writing on it. Let's do that. Let's nip that off. So, Marguerite Miller, Lacey Lace, and this. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back with a bang. <laughs> All the stuff that's been burning a hole in my brain for the last few days. Okay. So look at us. I'll show you this one more time in case you want to take a picture. There you go. There. Let's get rid of that move things over and we'll we'll look at our wares that we got done okay we got all of those done we got marguerite miller on the road for for this year and we got our first little bits of lace projects done There you have it. My work here is done. <laughs> have a grateful day, everyone. Be kind always, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.